Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, and this is going to be a guide about stress. So stress is uh, your duplicates get stressed out from doing certain things, seeing certain things, being in certain locations. You can kind of see their stress in the top left here with a little bra brain icon. So right now, all of my duplicates have zero stress, which is a good thing. Now, if they reach 100% stress, uh, they'll act out in various ways depending on their uh, kind of their attributes. So if you click on a dupe and look at their stats, you can see their traits and Nails here has the ugly crier uh, trait, which means if he gets completely stressed out 100%, he'll start crying, he'll cry polluted water, I think, and it'll make everyone around him stress out. And So I think there's, there's, a, uh, there's vomiter as well, and there's destructive, which is a negative trait you definitely don't want to get because they'll start smashing your equipment and stuff. So that's uh, one of the bad ones. So you can see it in the top left. One of the other useful things is under reports. Here you can see stress change. It's an overall number for all your duplicates. Um, so you can see added 20% remove negative 149. So kind of, and then your net. And then you can crack this open here and see individually uh, the stress for each duplicate. So like Ada, for instance, you can also see what stressed them out during the uh, cycle. So let's go to the previous cycle and you can hover over each dupe and see um, kind of what added and removed their stress. So they had a nice bathroom, they had decor. Minus is a good thing, positive is bad. Let's find someone with a positive. Uh, does anyone have a positive? <laughs> they should. Someone in here will, let's see. I guess everyone is just not stressed out. <laughs> okay, sorry. Over here, increased, here we go. So, for instance, Boom the Mech. His stress went up because of food quality expectations, soggy feet, low oxygen, decor expectations, his bladder got full, and cold air. So this is a really useful report for kind of getting an overview of like where your dupes are getting stressed out and ways to correct it. So one of the biggest things that um, kind of affects dupe stress is decor. So if you use the decor overlay in the top right here, where is it? It's this one, F8. If we turn that on, we can see uh, green is good and red is bad. So this room down here has a lot of heavy watt wire. So the decor is really bad. And if you kind of you hover over each tile, you can see what's causing the negative decor. So the heavy watt wire is minus 280 here. The actual machinery is minus 27. There's some debris on the floor. That's uh, minus 20. And then up here, if we look at some positive areas, we can see this masterpiece, this painting is plus 92. The metal tile is uh, 60 etc. So green is good, red is bad. Very useful overlay. So you want high decor in areas that the dupes are going to be in a lot. Such as um, mess halls, where they're eating, where they're sleeping, where they're spending a lot of time. Uh, if they happen to work, be working on a certain machine a lot, like these um, cooking stations up here, it would be a good place for paintings. So things that cause negative decor are like ladders, um, machinery, heavy machinery like these power or fertilizer makers, power plants. What else causes negative decor? Um, got a little list here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that covered it. Um, wires, actually, even regular wires can cause... These wires, conductive wires, don't cause uh, negative decor, but a regular wire has a negative decor minus five, but it only has a radius of one tile. So those kind of normal wires are good to build through your floors and not have them exposed. Like I have a little bit of wire exposed here, but this, this conductive wire is okay. It's just the regular wire that has negative decor. 
Decor usually has a radius as well, so like if we look at this metal tile. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, metal tile. It has a decor plus 18 and it's a radius of 3, so it's kind of got a 3 tile radius around it. Uh, one of the best decor items is a uh, painting. Now early on you'll only have sandstone when you first start your base, so you'll you'll be able to make canvases, and canvases themselves uh, have a decor bonus of plus 6 for a 6 tile radius. So they're actually good to build even if you don't have a good artist yet, because you'll get decor out of them, and then later on uh, you'll, as your artist gets better, first they'll make these crappy paintings, mediocre, which have a decor radius of plus 18. And then later on when they get better, they'll be able to make uh, masterpieces, which have plus 24. So heavy watt wires are probably one of the worst decor um, offenders. They have, uh, if we go, go to power here, heavy watt wire... You can see they have a minus 25 decor for six tiles. So generally high decor is good. Each dupe has a decor expectation. If you go under uh, stats, you can see de decor expectation 40. And you can see the duplicate itself has a minus 35 decor expectation, which is really low. But because they have a lot of skills in their, or a lot of jobs, um, it's adding plus 20 or plus 75. So as you cycle your dupes through various jobs, as they get higher and higher in the tiers, I'm in the job menu here, sorry, top right. As you move through the higher and higher tiers, you see they have higher food expectations and higher decor expectations. So most of my dupes I've are all um, in the tier five or tier six because they've been leveling up for many, many cycles. So it makes it harder to keep them happy. So you need really high decor and you need uh, good food expectations. And if you go to the food station, cooking station, you can see kind of the quality of various foods. So this mush fry, for instance, has a terrible quality, zero. Fried mushrooms, plus one. And then as you kind of go to the right, they get better and better. So the best thing is, I think, pepper bread. It has superb quality, plus five. So this will keep your dupes really happy. It's hard to make, though, because you need to grow sweet wheat. But stuffed berries is what I'm using right now. And they have... A plus four, so it's pretty good food. So that's decor. Um, the other good thing, uh, nest tables have a have a decor bonus. These comfy beds have a decor bonus. Uh, piping has a slight decor. Actually, it's decor zero. That's okay. Uh, the these the uh, these sculptures. Uh, are also good for decor. They have a plus 24 decor for an 8 tile radius, which is pretty good. This is uh, a quaint one. There's um, there's lower quality ones if your artist isn't very good. Now one of the kind of brute force ways to reduce stress is the massage table. You'll notice I only have one because I, uh, I I rarely rely on this thing because, because of all the high decor, um, they rarely have to come on here. And it works like this. So there's, there's a break time starts at. And so if any of my dupes hit 31% stress, they'll jump on the table. And I usually put the table as priority 8 or priority 9. So they get on there right away. And then break time ends uh, set at 0. So they'll stay on the, ta they'll stay on the table till they get to 0. Now if you get into a situation where there's tons of dupes that are in really high stress, you probably want to put this break policy up in order to get the most stressed out dupes um, on the massage table first. And then you may actually want to lower the break ends, or sorry, raise the break ends and have maybe something like get on the table at 80 and get off at 60. And that will leave time for some of the other dupes to get on the table, uh, de-stress. And then as the stress comes down, you can move these sliders kind of to the left. So what else is there? Um, oh, one of the really bad decor items is the outhouse. So as soon as you can, uh, switch over to the lavatories, which are these kind of nicer looking toilets. There's also things that will stress your dupe out, like um, low oxygen. So I've got good oxygen right here, 1000 grams per tile. Down here it's not so good, so we might actually 
well, they're in exosuits, but if the dupe got down here, they might get that low oxygen uh, kind of debuff. What else can, uh, high temperatures. If you send, if I sent my dupes down into this oil biome at 73 degrees, um, they would get stressed out. They'd also probably get burnt unless you put them in exosuits, which are these things. Exosuits are really useful for going down into the, the oil biome or the magma biome as people call it down here. Um, some other things that kind of stress out your dupes, uh, full bladder is one. So if you don't have enough toilets and they're holding holding their Wii, um, they'll get stressed out. Uh, now if the pressure is too high, like over two, I think it's 2,000 grams per tile, they'll, they'll get uh, popped eardrums, which stresses them out. They don't like that. What else can uh, stress them out? Let's just look at our report here, see if we can notice anything else. Uh, soggy feet. So if they walk through any kind of liquid, um, including a liquid lock, which is what I have here for our for my uh, food room, every time they walk through here, they're gonna get the soggy feet debuff, which stresses them out a little bit. It doesn't last very long. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Bonnie just went through that. So she's got Sopping Wet, uh, which is, it only lasts 0.2 cycles, but it, it is a plus 20% to, to stress. Sorry, so that's Sopping Wet when they're completely immersed in water. If they kind of run through a puddle of it, let me find a little puddle of water here. If they ran through this, for instance, oh, we can see Joshua's running through it right now. He gets the soggy feet, uh, so that's adding plus 10% stress for 0.2 cycles, which isn't too bad. But you want to, you know, mop up areas that get like this, that they're commonly going through, to prevent that uh, stress response. Now, another great thing, which is fairly new in the game, are these rooms. So room overlay, I'll turn that on. That's kind of in the top right here, F11. Now, there's three room types that reduce stress. Um, there's the mess hall, and we hover over here, we can see eating at a mess table will relieve additional stress for duplicates if it's located, sorry, mess table if it's located in the mess hall. So all we needed for a mess hall is some mess tables and some doors to kind of seal it up. It does have a minimum size and a maximum size. So these could be a bit bigger if you wanted, but I just made them small. Also, the barracks where they sleep oh sorry not the barracks they'll, they'll get increased stamina in barracks but the, not stress relief now the latrine which is basically an enclosed bathroom with a sink that will reduce uh, stress when they're in there we can probably see uh let's see lyria coming out nice bathroom so that means she'll have a minus five percent stress for an entire cycle which is pretty awesome so it's worthwhile enclosing your bathrooms to get that room bonus. Uh, well, there's one other one here that reduces stress. The mess hall, latrine, oh, and the recreation room, which just requires a massage table or more, more massage table, one or more massage tables, and um, I think a decoration. Yeah, so I've put a little planter in here and I've planted um, a briar seed so this this relieves stress as well but the room bonus is um, giving them a stress bonus so an easy that's an easy way to get uh, stress relief what else is there um, one of the one of the um, overlooked kind of stress relievers that I use quite often is this uh, textile loom. I make snazzy suits and I think I have one on the ground here. Let's see or maybe I've, I, I think I've asked everyone to wear one so Bert here is in his snazzy suit. Um, I think it's under way down here. No. <laughs> Basically what the snazzy suit does is gives them a decor of plus 30 and it kind of follows them around 
So if we look at the decor overlay, we can kind of see a square of green following them around. So it's like a portable painting almost. Portable decor booster. Really, really useful. And all it takes is some reed fiber and this uh, textile loom. So we'll make a few more snazzy suits. It requires reed fiber, which you can find um, kind of all over the map. You can also plant it yourself. If you wait, you know, quite a few cycles, it kind of grows naturally in the wild. And then once you crack in there, you can uh, use it. Here's one right here. Thimble reed makes reed fiber. Let's click on it. So we can see wild growth or domestic growth. For domestic growth, you need um, polluted water. Quite a bit of polluted water to grow it. But you won't need much to get a suit for every dupe. Uh, one of the big ways that uh, stress is reduced is by sleeping at night. So let's speed things up. We'll get to the end of the cycle. And when they're sleeping in bed, I think it's a minus 20% uh, percent stress relief. You can also see that in the report. So sleeping... It doesn't say minus 20 here because um, it's, it's the overall, it's the average of the whole day, but... So yeah, generally stress is going down for our little dupes here. Okay, here they go. Going to sleep. And we, if we click on Boom the Mech here, I keep clicking on him. Uh, and we look at his stress throughout the night. We can see sleeping, minus 20 per cycle. And it's good decor in here, so that's also helping him de-stress. He was at zero anyway. But if he had high stress, this would be where he kind of regains it at night. Trying to think if there's any other major stress relievers or adders. Um, there's a few other decor items that uh, the printing pod is actually has some decor. So if you locate your beds near it initially, you'll get a little bit of a decor bonus. Uh, ice sculptures under furniture. They have a plus decor of 10 for a 10 tile radius, which is pretty huge. But they melt, so you got to make sure the liquid is going to go somewhere if you're making them in kind of warmer areas. I think that might be uh, that might cover a lot of the kind of stress things. So keep them out of keep them out of low decor areas, or limit their exposure. Try to keep high decor. Metal tiles are another awesome item. Um, they have, let's see if we can click on one here. Metal tile, I might've already mentioned this, but they have a plus 18 decor for three tile radius. So a really good way to um, reduce stress is to make uh, the floors for your common rooms out of uh, metal tile. Um, sandstone, if you look at building materials, sandstone is what you'll have initially when you first start out. And it has a decor of plus five, also has a run speed bonus. But then later on, granite is even better. Uh, the material itself, so sorry, the, the tile has a plus five, but the material itself is plus 10 or plus 20%, whereas sandstone has, only has plus 10% if you hover over the material here. If you make it out of something like sedimentary rock, you're not going to get any decor material bonus. And then metal tiles, um, they have a plus 50% decor, which is super awesome. They also have a great run speed of 50%, so they'll be moving around faster. Plastic also has a good run speed bonus and good decor bonus. But I don't think it has a material um, decor buff like the metal tiles do. The only thing you have to worry about with um, metal tiles is their conductivity. So they're going to basically move heat a lot faster. So you may not want to use them for the outside of your base like I have done here. If the outside of your base is hot, for instance, the heat will get through really easily. Lighting also helps with decor. 
Uh, we got, uh, it says zero, but it actually does give a boost. Uh, if we look at the decor overlay, we can see lighting plus 15. So that's another kind of easy way to give decor. I think that might cover everything. Um, you definitely want high decor in areas that they're going through often, so that's why this hallway here, I have like paintings all the way along. Because they were going to the left here quite often. It's like a decor. So yeah, they run through here quite often, and that's, this will keep them nice and happy. I should probably put some more over here, and I should probably mop this up just so they're not getting their feet wet all the time. We can probably see them being cold here. Soggy feet. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. If they're in this cold long enough, uh, you'll kind of see the cold debuff. I think germs also stress them out, but um, not positive about that. But going back to the metal tiles, an easy way to get uh, metal tiles early on is to use this rock granulator. And you can refine various metals. It's not as efficient as the metal refinery, which is under refinement, metal refinery. But the metal refinery requires uh, a, a cooling liquid. It's a little bit more involved. A bit, it requires a bit more power as well. This is like the poor man's uh, refinery. You can also get sand out of this thing by uh, breaking down minerals, which is handy. Uh, Weezworts give a plus decor. Oh, and the creatures in the game, like um, shine bugs, hatches, puffs. We got some hatches in here. They have a de decor bonus as well. Only for one tile though, so they're not they're not really useful for decor. So I've probably missed some things. I got some notes here I'm looking at. But that covers kind of the the bulk of the stress kind of related things. Feed them good food. Keep keep their decor high. Keep their temperature nice and even. Anywhere from like 20 to 37 I think is what they enjoy. I don't there's probably an exact figure but that's that's probably approximately right. Um, give them light in, give them nice tiles to run on. And keep them out of super low decor areas. So if I missed anything, please uh, put it in a comment so others can can learn. And I'll, if, I, if I remember anything else that uh, about stress, I'll add it in there. So hope you found this useful. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.